Hi everyone, Evan Alexander here with another Vectorworks tutorial. It's been a while. It's been a crazy busy spring. So I had big tutorial plans thwarted by work, but we're going to try to push some stuff out here uh, in the coming weeks. So stay tuned. I want to talk today about uh, making super quick drawing packets. So I worked recently on a TV set here. This is not it. This is it. Uh, this is not really it. This is kind of a hybrid kind of altered version of part of it to protect the innocent. Uh, but you get the idea. Imagine we're on a TV or film set here. We've got some kind of like apartment with you know, four walls. And um, so we were modeling this up and kind of in design development and it was all happening incredibly rapidly. And uh, I hadn't even gotten it into Cinema 4D yet. And the designer was saying, you know, I think we got to get numbers to, or, you know, uh, drawings to a shop to get some numbers going before we go any further because it's looking expensive. And so I hadn't made hybrids out of anything yet. You can see here, this is all just wireframe. Um, and, uh, you know, I just thought, what's the fastest way that we can get a packet out? And uh, so I remembered my buddy, Sean, Sean Oski, Oske, if I'm saying that right, out in Oregon telling me that uh, he's given up on hybrids and he's just started using ClipCube for everything. And I thought, well, all right, let's check it out. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. And I, I did it and it worked out pretty cool. So I want to show you, this was going to be kind of an abbreviated version of it, but, um, but I'll show you what's going on. So uh, here we are and uh, I have everything on one layer. Uh, which doesn't really matter, but uh, I've grouped things into these big buckets here. So I've got like north, south, east, west, right? And we're just going to do, you know, front elevation of the whole thing and front elevation of the whole thing and put some notes on it. Like I said, this is not the most beautiful drafting you've ever done. This is the holy crap, we need to get this out the door today drafting. So that's always good. So I've got everything in here. I'm in OpenGL. I'm using Vectorworks 2021, but doesn't matter. Any version is going to work pretty much the same way. And uh, so let's turn on the clip cube, which I've talked about in other videos. You can either grab it here from the view menu, clip cube, uh, or I have this shortcut up here, this little teapot cut in half. There's a little arrow here lets you turn on and off all kinds of uh, handy dandy little shortcut buttons here. This one's called show clip cube. So if we turn this on, you're going to see that we're going to get the kind of default clip cube here at the extents of our objects. You have to click on it to activate it. And so now here I've grabbed it and I'm going to grab this top plane here and I'm just going to pull down on it. If you're work in here and see how I'm getting this like stuttering, right? It's because snapping, it's trying to snap to my cursor and that's no good. So if you hold down the tilde key, which is that little squiggle in the upper left underneath the escape key, you can temporarily suspend snapping. And this is going to let you kind of come in here and drive where you want this. Now I've got these panel moldings, so I'm going to shoot pretty low for this. And uh, this is showing the extent of my center lines, but that's much bigger than my set. And I always like things to be nice and tidy on our viewports because the size of the clip cube, that is ultimately going to drive the size of the viewport on the sheet. So let's just tuck these guys in. You don't have to do this, but just nice, good housekeeping. So this is what we want. This is uh, how we're going to kind of cut it. I'm just in an isometric view here so you can kind of see this a little more clearly. And I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to say create section viewport. Uh, let's see if I did this right. Yeah. And uh, so I've already got a sheet made here and uh, let's, I think we're going to bump this up to 3 8 scale, even though everybody I ever studied with told me not to do that. And uh, I'm going to say, okay. And here we go. Uh, 
we are on our sheet. What happened here? Why are, are we not fitting on our sheet? Maybe we want to stick to quarter inch. I lied. All right, quarter inch it is. Um, and so, look, we've made a ground plan in about four seconds. It looks pretty crappy because uh, it is black and red. So, I don't know, maybe if you're working on Star Wars, this is how you want to do it. But um, but the, the detail is nice, uh, but the, the attributes are kind of wrong. So how can we, how can we fix this here? Uh, what have I done? I think I've scroll wheeled my scale back up. Look at that. I did. Thanks, Vectorworks. Um, and uh, so here's what's happening. When you make a section viewport for the first time, it's going to create a class for you called section style. And this is what's going to drive the attributes of your section. I know this is a ground plan, but technically we've cut a horizontal section. So it thinks it's a section. Um, so let's fix this. Uh, so I'm going to right click on this guy and say edit. And sure enough, our fill is set to black, our pen is set to red at 0.35 thickness, which is pretty thick. So first things first, I like a good hatch here. So I'm just going to grab good old brick HF, which is a default. We're going to alter this, so don't worry about it too much. We just want to get this selected and uh, dialed in there. Obviously, you can make this whatever you want. If you want this to be solid, hatched, filled, patterned, whatever. And then uh, pen style, solid is good, but we want black, not maroon, but black. And let's just dumb this down here. I've turned off line weight uh, visibility uh, just for this tutorial, but um, you want to definitely pay attention to that. That looks pretty good. Let's say, okay, it's sort of changed, but obviously we need to update as always. So we're just going to hit update. It'll take a second and then voila, here we go. We've got this hatched. You can see our cuts and our panel kind of cut throughs. Now, I don't love this hatch. Uh, I want to kind of play with it. Uh, this is totally personal preference, but if we come over to the resource manager, hello, uh, here it is, Brick HF. And, uh, you know, we can rename this. So let's call this EA, uh, what, cut fill. Sure, I love it. Uh, and I'm going to right click on this again and say edit this time. And so now, now you can you can make things, you know, kind of wider or tighter together if you want. Uh, you can play around with the angle. 45 degrees is great. But my offset length, the distance between these, I think I want this to be like a sixteenth of an inch. I'm going to start there. You uh, depending on what scale you're working in, you might want this to be slightly different. And then for background fill, I just like this to be a gray instead of white. So I'm going to say, okay, and we're done with you. Bye-bye. And, uh, for some reason it wants to update, even though nothing really changed. And, uh, voila, here we go. We have, uh, I think this looks pretty nice. Um, looks like I did a pretty bad job of aligning my objects here, but that's okay. Uh, do better, people. Do better. Like I say, this is all about, holy crap, this needs to go out the door in three hours. So so here's our ground plan. That's great. And then, you know, obviously, if you've got internal stuff or furniture, or, you know, other layers, classes, you're going to want to play around with that. And, you know, this is not perfect. Like, you have to go in and, you know, add some dash lines, indicate overhead stuff and um, but like I say, this is, uh, this is more about, you know, speed than about, you know, beauty at this point. Um, though if I was doing beautiful drafting, I would still maybe start this way and then just spend more time, you know, kind of cleaning it up in the annotations. Um, I'm, I'm starting to maybe think this might be more fun than hybrids, um, just for speed. I don't know. All right. So that's great for a plan. Let's do some elevations, shall we? Uh, I'm just going to duplicate this. We're just going to bounce around today at about 100 miles an hour without a script. That's okay. So I've just duplicated the sheet and I'm going to take this and just toss it because we don't need that. Let's see. Let's go back to scenery here. All right. So let's do this. Uh, we're still in 
Cup cube. Let's reset this. Let's do this wall here. So we're going to do a front elevation of this whole uh, assembly here. Like I say, there's a lot of internal details and stuff to do in your final drafting. But, you know, for today, I just need to get this out and indicate, you know, this is wallpaper and this is wood and this is metal and, you know, this has to explode or whatever needs to happen. So let's go ahead and turn our clip cube on again. And now this time I'm going to click on it to activate. I'm going to come over here, suspend snapping again, and I'm going to stop it right about here. Now I'm still cutting through wall, you know, A and wall C, but that's okay. I like to indicate how those things are going to meet up with this wall anyway. So that's kind of nice. Um, again, we can just kind of tidy this up a little bit here. Not necessary, but uh, you know, I like my viewports to be tight. And so now I will right click again and say create section viewport. Let's pick the sheet. Now this time I know I want it to be a little bit bigger here. So I'm going to just bump the scale up. All depends on what you like working in and how big your sheet is. I don't have a title block on here yet. That's okay. And voila, here we go. Look, we have this nice front elevation. So this technically is hidden line. You can see here, background render, hidden line. It is a section viewport, even though it's front elevation. And uh, here you can see where I'm cutting through these other walls. So that's nice to show us where this stuff kind of fits inside of, uh, you know, in relation to this wall. Let's come back here and... Uh, Let's adjust. So now that viewport is made, so it's okay. We can now, we can change the clip cube now, which is cool. So let's do a plan here. Let's suspend our snapping. You know, we'll try it something like that. And I'm going to right click and say create section viewport. And I believe we were up there in 3 8 land, which I know is weird. And yeah, look at that. There it is. And so this, it's, I think it's probably, is it lined up? It's not lined up. Okay, let's line it up. I moved stuff around. That's okay. We'll just overlap that to get it to go. And now, look, we've got a nice plan view here. Uh, and so we can start, you know, annotating this. And uh, we're close. Maybe we'll cut a section through here because... This looks kind of complicated. I mean, we should do a few sections through this wall, but for the sake of the tutorial, we'll just keep it quick. Now, one thing to note, when I cut this section of the front elevation, it did drop a section line in there for me. And this is showing up because it's on my scenery layer. So this is showing up in this view. And I don't really like that. So here's what I do. I'm going to come back here. I'm going to make a new layer. Just right click and say new. I'm going to call this layer section cuts. And so basically I like to have a layer where I just take all of my section cuts. Let's move this from scenery to section cuts. And then we'll go ahead and hide this guy. So now if we come back here and uh, let's grab this and let's go to layers. And here, section cuts is turned off. That's okay. So maybe we need to update this, even though it's not in red. Yes, there it is. And so we got rid of that. So now section cuts that we make moving forward, this guy wants to update just because we've been moving around in layer, even though nothing changed. Um, so those section cut lines, doesn't really matter what layer they're on. So, you know, I like to just put them onto their own layer so we don't have to look at them. Now, if we want to cut a section through here, I would do this in kind of the traditional way. I mean, I, I think you could clip cube to get there, but we can also just say view, create section viewport. And so let's go ahead and just like always, we'll just kind of cut through here and we'll make a section viewport. Let's say three eighths inch. We're on the right plate. And it's going to think for a minute because it's got to do all that math. And then it's got to do a hidden line render, which is the Achilles heel of Vectorworks. And voila, there it is. All right, so let's take this guy. We want to just kind of snap it to the bottom here. I haven't thought about this layout too much. I'm probably too big for my title block, but that's all right. Take this stuff and we'll move it over a little bit. 
And we'll just slide this guy right in here. Yeah. And so here's this nice section, right? Right through this shelving unit here. And so I would go back here and I would indicate, you know, section A, section A, and then label this section A. And you can play around uh, if you come into this guy and you hit these advanced properties, right? We've done this in other tutorials. You can come in here and you can play around with the height extents, with the depth extents, and you can really control kind of what, you know, maybe you don't want to see this, you know, this is wall C in the background. So we could, uh, we could tell it to not do that. How would we do that? Let's see if I can do this here and screw it up. So I think what we're talking about is... Um, uh, well, are we limited by section line? I thought we were. Uh, oh, extents beyond the cut plane here. It's going 33 feet. And so from here to here is, you know, probably like more like eight feet. So let's say 96. And if we come in here, now it wants to update. And oh, come on, baby. If we hit update, come on, please work. It's thinking. Hey, look at that. I did it. Cool. All right. So now we're not seeing all that junk of the end wall that's kind of over here. We're just limiting it from here, and then we're going eight feet this way and stopping. So look at that. Going off script, and it all worked out. Pretty cool. Uh, and so then I would just, you know, rinse and repeat here to kind of keep going and working my way around now I'm going to take this guy and also just throw it onto this hidden section cut layer. Everything's still good. It's still pumping data into our viewport here. Uh, you'll see it wants to update because I moved the section line, but it doesn't matter because it's still, voila, working just as expected. Um, and so that's it. So instead of using hybrids now for speed, we are just using clip cube for everything and cutting sections like mad here we probably don't want to see maybe we don't want to see this center line here see the problem is i can't just leave it be got to go through and just uh tweak 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 all right but you get the idea i want to keep this short ish and uh, so there you go. This is going to give us a nice way here, let's turn this off, to just go through this guy and very quickly throw together a whole bunch of elevations. So I would do the same process. I would do a front elevation and a plan of this and then cut some internal sections. Then I would do this wall. Then I would do this wall. And, uh, you know, you're putting more time and effort into annotations here when you, you know, come in and start to like dimension stuff and, you know, kind of really, you know, kind of work out your size and scale of these things. But like I say, this is really more in the, in the spirit of like, you know, oh my goodness, we need to get a packet out, you know, today. And, you know, what is it going to take for us to be able to do that uh, in a, you know, kind of clean and clear, precise way, you know, painted as old wood, painted ass old wood. That's me. All right. I think you get it. There you go. Let's cap this because why wouldn't we? Um, all right. So there you go, people. I hope that's helpful. Uh, look for some more tutorials coming soon. Uh, this is a speedy one all about speed. Thanks, everyone. See you soon.